as some of you know, I've had issues with my Viv Stage 2 Turbo. Uh, I had a lot of issues with my uh, waste gates. Uh, it did not want to be calibrated anymore. And I got good advice of what it might be. And I've found the reason. And uh, here's my experience with the Viv Stage 2. I had a mechanic install the turbo and um, the installation process was pretty straightforward. Of course, it's a lot of work, uh, a lot of work apparently. And the mounting on the uh, turbo housing here uh, did not align at all uh, compared to the OEM. So this mounting is actually one and a half centimeter off causing you to not be able to use this mounting or the support, I would say. Um, causing your turbo only to be hanging on your, your uh, engine with the uh, exhaust manifold. I also used the inlet pipe from uh, Viv Auto Parts uh, to combine with this turbo. And um, the fitment is bad on the inlet pipe as well. The angles isn't that great, um, but still better than the OEM uh, compared to the airflow. For fueling, I am using 93 octane slash 98 rom. So keep in, uh, keep in mind uh, the fueling type uh, when talking about the boost this turbo gives me and my results with it. The tuning platform I went with was MHD and I went with a custom tune made by Motive Motorsports and uh, Chris was the tuner that was tuning my car while I had this turbo installed. So during the tuning process we went through several versions of the tune and uh, the car became stronger for each version and uh, we had stable boost above 20 psi and uh, at the complete end we had 22 and a half peak uh, psi uh, close to the uh, 5500 rpm mark after the last calibration of the wastegate before the failure we were super close to finish the custom tune the only left the only thing left uh, was to fix the timing corrections up at the top end and that was just minor adjustments and the power felt great but i expected more out of the turbo and it seems like uh, chris also kind of expected more out of it due to uh, the wastegate position always being so high in the activation of the uh, in the tune to even reach the boost goals that is set. Um, we had already high uh, wastegate activation to reach 20 psi. So that's kind of disappointing and um, I expected more. And of course <laughs> I expected more out of the turbo due to the money I spent. It didn't even last 1000 kilometers. But the tuning process was not that easy because the wastegate system on this turbo has a huge design flaw. And at first I just believed it was the heat cycles of the brand new turbo just settling or like the mechanisms settling into place but that was wrong so the first sign of course uh, was that the wastegate system went out of calibration sending a error code 123432 which is causing the wastegate system to completely stop working due to the um, wastegate position going out so far out of position that the actuator doesn't want to work anymore aka you have to calibrate 
the wastegate system again. So we did. And that happened already after seven days of using this turbo. I had to do that the first time. Uh, I uh, adjusted the wastegate with around three millimeters, tightening it towards the actuator. And uh, that was done with Ista Plus. So uh, everything was good. Uh, continuing the tuning for another week and Chris sends me also a message asking to see the wastegate position in the logs, data logs. I couldn't find it so we skipped it. Um, but that is also a hint of Chris not understanding why his uh, wastegate positioning in the tune not acting the way he expected to. Uh, and the turbo wasn't was not performing as expected, comparing to the size and everything. Um, then the second week, at the end of the second week, I get the same same failure or the same error code pop up. Uh, wastegate out of calibration, and. Uh, I had to calibrate the waste kit again. The same amount as the first time. Tightening it even more. Is the plus being happy after the second calibration again? But now I see I'm starting to run out of threads. And I'm thinking, why is this happening? I can't see it with the naked eye from standing above looking down at the turbo while adjusting it. Uh, so I just start week number three, hoping for the best. And is the turbo settled or not? Well, at the end of week three, turbo does it again. But this time, I run out of threads. I no longer can adjust the wastegate more towards the actuator because it's fully out of threads. I've maximized the tightening process. And now I'm fucked because now I can't even use the turbo or like I can't even drive with turbo pressure because the wastegate is deactivated. So in high hopes of not needing to uninstall this turbo and put in the stock one again, I changed the wastegate actuator and that didn't do a difference at all. So I started to measure the uh, wastegate arm flap. So I measured this arm, wastegate flapper arm, and compared to the stock one, it's clearly bent eight millimeters, the same amount I had to adjust this uh, nut with the wastegate positioning uh, calibration. Eight millimeters here and eight millimeters here bent. So the measures goes hand in hand that this arm is bent, causing causing the arm not to shut the wastegate properly anymore. Right now, this is currently a bent wastegate, completely shut, so the arm is completely maxed out now. But if we take away eight millimeters that is from the bending and move it back, this is the angle the wastegate arm is supposed to be but as you can clearly see the wastegate seat and like the flapper itself that is supposed to close the wastegate seating is not close at all it's open because it's bent so this is what i meant in the previous video the wastegate arm or the rod inside here is bent eight millimeters so i take away eight millimeters and this is what i did in the previous video 
move it back to the original position that it should be in. And at this position, the wastegate is supposed to be closed. But here you have a lot more movement, causing it to go out of calibration as it will move too far up on the rod, on the actuator. So the problem with the wastegate is most likely bad material or bad design. Uh, either way, this wastegate is bending due to heat or to weak uh, structure. So the next obvious step I took was to contact Viva Auto Parts. I showed them the documentation showing clearly that the wastegate has bended over time. And um, the response took very long time. Uh, it was a painfully slow process. But after a couple days, they responded with they could send me a replacement flapper arm like this, the one that has bended. bended. And um, including that, they will send me $150 in a refund to pay for the work that needs to be done. And that was to replace the flapper arm. You have to uninstall the turbo from the engine, meaning sending the car back to mechanic. Costing money, of course. One hundred and fifty dollars will almost yeah will cover the oil, but that's almost the only thing it will cover. Uh, also, I will need to send in the turbo for uh, replacement of uh, the flapper arm to a place that uh, has the correct welding equipment for it because the welding. Um, well, the thread that they use in the welding needs also to handle the turbo heat. Uh, so I'll have to send it in to a different shop. And then return from that shop again to the mechanics to put in the car. And obviously that will cost a lot more than $150. So no thank you. I want a replacement turbo, I said. And I also said doing that process I also get no guarantees left on the turbo since a different company has cut and welded on the turbo. So if more mistakes happen, it's all on me basically. Uh, and then they stopped to respond for a good while. I sent them many, many messages. And in the end, after maybe three days, four days, they responded. Uh, actually, let me check what they responded. Okay, so they responded with saying the oil leak probably as oil or air unbalance push it leak is it is a fake leak. About the balance don't have any problem. It is 100% sure. First of all, I have never spoken about an oil leak. This is just straight up rage baiting in customer support. I, I was mad getting this message, but I have already, already um, understood that they will not take any resp responsibility about this. But then Viv Auto Parts actually asked, asked me for my documentation again asking for, do I have more pictures? So I sent them. They only replied with, the turbo looks good. But the turbo isn't good. So in other words, Viv Turbo, no, Viv Auto Parts will not help you at all if you have an issue. Um, and the wastegate makes this turbo useless unless I go through the process of changing it out with a strengthened one. But yet so far, I haven't seen any. I spoke with a different turbo manufacturer about this issue. And apparently they get turbos from the same factory or they get parts of their turbos from the same factory. I sent them pictures of the wastegate of the uh, 
of the measurements I took, showing side-by-side -side comparisons of the stock turbo and the upgraded turbo, aka the Viv Stage 2. And they said, this design, uh, we got pitched three years ago. And we said, no, it's a huge design flaw. It will bend, it's bad. But still, they send out this design to this day. After I started to post about my issues with this turbo, uh, some people had already had this issue that had contacted me about it. And that led me to find the same issue on my turbo. Uh, but I find it kind, kind of interesting. I did not find this information before I bought the turbo. Maybe I looked in the wrong place. I don't know, but I tried to do my research before buying this turbo. Uh, but now I have bought it, so you don't need to. Uh, people have asked me if it's good, should I uh, buy it? I'm about to. Uh, oh fuck, I've already bought the turbo. Uh, do I need to replace the wastegate before I um, install it to my car? Um, so in other words, I'm just trying to say, do not buy this turbo, <laughs> stay away, and it might be obvious, um, and I might get a lot, of, a lot of hate in the comment section for uh, being stupid, I don't know. I know this has been a lengthy video, uh, I'm not, I don't usually <laughs> make videos like this, but I fault the responsibility to throw it out there even though i might get mocked <laughs>